So this here is my mealworm breeding box, which is just a couple of containers, uh, plastic ones, that I have cut the base of the top one out of. Put some fly screen in there. And so that is where the mealworms that I've purchased from the produce shop go. Um, and they've actually done the full cycle of breeding. So these are actually ones that were replaced. You can see there there's a beetle. So they go from being these mealworms, which have climbed in here, to um, the egg carton that I've got laying on the top from the rolled oats that's in the layer below. And you can see I've got a bit of a dead beetle there. So the idea of this is they get their moisture uh, content from uh, a carrot that we throw in there and then the adult beetles burrow to the bottom of the um, rolled oat layer and lay eggs and the eggs then drop through Through the fly screen that's secured in place of the base along there into the lower tray which also has um so I've just lifted that top layer off and here I've put the box so the eggs drop through into the lower level and I have um the cardboard and the uh what do you call it uh, egg carton is pretty much about just keeping it dark because they like to burrow layers down. So you can see here is a bunch of sort of husks left as the eggs hatch and then the small uh, worms start to develop. And they too then start to eat into... Um, I'm going to make sure that focus is okay because you can see husks upon husks as they molt and uh, grow larger. You can see there that some of these then are actually larger ones. And when you, it's like that um, magic sand it reminds me of, that magic sand that moves. So they've turned this um, in between the droppings that come from the top tray and the rolled oats that are in the bottom being eaten by the newly hatched uh, mealworms. They, it pretty much just turns what's left there into dust. So that underneath there is just another layer of cardboard. I'm interested just to have a look under that. Oh, and there we go. That's where we see that we've got a bunch of new worms that as they grow larger, will either get feeding, fed to the chickens or get replaced and put back into the top tray to then repeat the process all over again. So yeah, it's working really well. Uh, the main problem that I've had is making sure that it's not too humid in here and creating condensation inside the box. So I actually do think I'm gonna um, drill more holes around here as I had done with um, the top level and then probably also put some in the lid and I normally just don't secure the lid on if we've got humid weather like it is now. Um, but yeah, good to see how many of these have actually grown up quite substantially. And the idea about keeping them in a se separate secondary tray is that if all left in the same tray, the beetles tend to eat the young. So it's to keep the young protected while they grow and develop.